Hello, welcome to Godhood. My name is Usser. Apparently, this is a game where you get to be a god and you get to influence your worshippers to go out and, I guess, convert or take over the world? What challenge do you seek? Um, okay, let's just do easy for now and we can always move up later. Create God. Okay, how should we address you? The omniscient. Hold on. I don't know if I like those eyes. <laughs> that's not that's not terrible. We'll we'll try and make it look like a normal kind of cool one to start with. Body. Uh typically a greenish color. There we go. Greenish blue. Hair. Yeah, don't have that. There we go, all greens and blues. I have no idea, how should we address you? All right, there we go. The degenerates believe that the Usursaurus is the god that brings us the truth. The truth that carries the name, the perversion. It's perfect. Let it be known. <laughs> There's a lot of customization where you can really, um, really get your uh, religion just the way you want it. As long as there have been people to believe there have been gods to vie for their attention, the Usursaurus is one such gods. Hmm. Destined to claim a place in humanity's hearts and minds, a single soul would be chosen by the Usursaurus, destined to become the first prophet of the perversion. <laughs> From nothing, the Usursaurus appeared before Anna. Anna renounced their faith in the old god Quetzalcoatl and placed it in the Usursaurus instead. First, the Usursaurus taught Anna about what is right. My name, you will spread war, peace, pleasure, purity, greed, generosity, madness. Uh, we're not Cthulhu. Um. Let's go with pleasure. Indulge in your worldly pleasures. Cries of passion, love, and gratification will fill your temple sight. So it's an orgy house. Perfect. Uh, style. Mostly morale and risky. Recommended for advanced players. Ah! Screw it, it's not easy. <laughs> Uh, the elders who worshipped the ancestors thought this idea to be dangerous. This wanton copulation will only lead to terrible disease. Did not see how they were wrong in opposing the Usursaurus. A sacrament was called to determine who is right. Okay, prepare for the sacrament. Aren't you happy to see me? Bravery! Ow! Righteous flirt! <laughs> Hit. The perversion looks impressive. <laughs> uh, so I don't get to do anything in this. It's just my follower versus theirs. Evade. Righteous flirt. Stubborn elder. Oh, look at all those hearts. Enticed. Proud converted. You lost the sacrament against the elders. Okay. They're resolute in their judgment. Anna and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Anna prophesied that one day the Usursaurus would bring their unrestrained love to the old city. <laughs> yes! Yes, we will. Anna continued to travel for days with the exile. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, the Usursaurus spoke again. This shall be the Usursaurus's holy site. A new religion is founded. Oh boy. Uh, welcome to the realm of godhood, young god. Your goal is to ascend to your rightful throne and leave behind a religion that will stand the test of time. You'll face many religions that adore false gods, convert them by word or sword, and grow your religion. When you've bested enough religions, you'll be able to ascend to into eternity. Easter source commands, I will ascend and the perversion will be paramount. <laughs> Oh, that is so perfect! Raise a strong group of disciples that represent your religion so they may convert heathens in the sacrament. With more followers, you can create a lasting religion and best other religions. 
There are different ways to achieve these goals depending on the tenets that you chose to be part of your religion. Raise disciples, convert in the sacrament, create a religion. Okay, yeah. There are many moving parts in Godhood. Don't expect to understand everything immediately. Take your time to mouse over UI elements. The tooltips will offer you information when you're ready for it. First, we will take a look on how to raise strong disciples. After closing this message, assign a ritual to your prophet in the top left corner. Uh, you're about to set a ritual for a disciple. Remember how raising a strong group of disciples is important to convert heathens and sacrament. The ritual is the most important way to improve your disciples. Every turn a disciple will make a bit of progress in finishing their ritual. Once the ritual is finished, they will develop a stat. <gasps> what are these stats? Uh, every stat has a different effect. Might for physical offense, health for defense, cunning for sacrament initiative, and physical crit and evasion. Charisma for morale offense, devotion for morale defense, knowledge for smart targeting, and morale crit and evasion. So it looks like, if, they, if I remember correctly, they said I was a high morale one, so I want to do morale stuff, charisma, devotion, and knowledge. Uh, okay. They also have ranks ranging from F to S. When you raise a stat enough, the stat will rank up. That will give the disciple a big power boost. Uh, it will raise from rank E to D. This will double your physical armor bonus. Oh, wow. However, with power comes corruption. Higher ranks will lower faith. Try to make use of ranks to efficiently grow your disciples. Okay. So I get to do a ritual, um, health kind of sucks, devotion's a little low, um, at the cutting, oh boy, so charisma's major, cutting is major, knowledge is good, can I improve knowledge, no, let's uh, court, now all you need is time to pass. Pass a turn, all you need to do is bless one of the disciples that is open for a blessing. One or two random disciples will have their hearts open per turn. Blessings have a minor effect like boosting ritual progress a bit. Bless a disciple with a button next to the ritual and make time pass. Okay. This, okay. Plus one dream points? I don't... I don't know that they say anything about dream points. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to... Whoa! Okay. Choose the destined mission. Spreading the perversion. <laughs> you now know how to raise your disciples. The next step is winning sacraments and gathering followers. To convert others, you'll send out your disciples to do missions. Every mission has one or more sacraments. These are the moments at which people of godhood are converted. Automatically ask by the disciples to pick a destined mission at the start. You won't have much choice, but as you progress, your options increase. Once you pick the mission, you'll have time to prepare for the coming challenges in your holy city. Word of your new religion spread quickly. Daniel and young Topol have heard of your great name. They too want to spread the word of the perversion. Inspire their rituals and bless their actions. Choose the destined m mission. Okay. So is this me? No, that's the big capital. Okay. Southern jungle, pagans, first to 36 wins. Okay. So. Yeah, level three, level two, and a level two. Okay, I'm not sure what all that means yet uh oh my god you need cutting badly okay cutting and uh need a little bit of everything too bless So I did the mission, but it did not come empty-handed to the Holy Land. With her, she brought a magnificent relic that holds the true power of the Isersaurus. 
What would this relic be? Um, Anklet of Joy gain plus one evasion scaling. Holy Rose. Charisma abilities have a 33% chance to infatuate the target for two rounds. It lowers defense and gives a chance to skip turn. I kind of like that one. Okay. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, so... Let's just... Like, they haven't said anything else yet. Uh, plan, sacrament? What? Okay. So it looks like I'm going to just absolutely stomp them right now. Uh, save plan. Oh, hey, here's the tutorial. Three of your disciples will face the followers of false gods. Your disciples will do actions and react to each other for a few rounds based on your prior decisions. You'll have no direct control over their actions. Shape them to be strong and wise by themselves. The first half or more of the crowd with their action, to convert more than half the crowd with their actions, wins. Or you could break the false disciples if you deem that righteous. There's no victor after four rounds. The one with the most converts wins. Uh, so we have different elements. Okay. Elements with an advantage have plus 50% power. Morale converts the crowd more easily but deals less HP damage. Physical deals more HP but convinces the crowd less. Because of this, morale is more suited for conversion and physical for a domination victory. In addition, when a disciple becomes broken, that team loses 30% of their converts. Wow, okay. Spread my name! I I've got the sacrament planned. Guess I don't need to do anything there. Let's uh, bless some people. It's time for the mission. Prepare the mission! Let's start it. Okay, first to 36. My eyes are right here. Hey, beautiful. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Alluring body. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, we win. Um, wow. So, Anna's badass. Um, your disciples grow more experience. Unlocked class. That's cool. Um. Wow. Anna's insane. Return. Yay. We did it. We converted the, the jungle pagans. Holy shit. 72. Uh, tri trial rewards. We got a new disciple slot. I don't know what that is. The perversion. Ranking 10. Huddle, following, sect, cult, creed, religion, world religion, and truth. Okay. So. Hold on, I don't want to choose the mission. What's this? Construct buildings. I will spend materials and offerings. In the Manage City menu, you can spend materials and offerings to upgrade your holy city. Buildings and upgrades help you gain more powerful rituals, extra god actions that will help you deal with problems, and ways to get more resources. Uh, what you choose to spend your resources on is important. Pick wisely. So, unlocks experience god action, which gives a bit of experience. Ooh, I can do that. Gardens. Unlock blessing of recovery. Plus one dream points per mission. I don't know what the dream points... Connect with the Usur source to acquire dreams. Huh. Uh, holy site, pray to the Ooster source and find your way. I don't know. Let's, um, say... Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and do the Night Shrine. Oh, wow. De degenerates erect the Night Shrine with your divine inspiration. Wow! Okay! Hold on! 
Manage classes. Uh, here you can unlock classes from acolytes to take. Your starting relic provides two classes for free. If you haven't picked one yet, it's better to do that first. First class unlock will be free, but from there on there's an increasing cost. Classes allow for new combinations and playstyles. Try to focus on four or five classes. Unlock too many and you risk having difficulty learning their abilities to create synergies. Okay. So I have the Chieftain and the Weaver. Alright. Unlocked. It's unlocked. Oh! Special class, the Lust Priest. <laughs> uh, brings swift judgment. They're fast and effective, but last good defenses. Cunning and might. Charisma and cunning. That would be a good one. <laughs> Devotion and charisma. That would be a pretty good one. Druid would be good as well. I'm looking at ones that do like the morale, the devotion, the, the knowledge. Let's do a druid. Unlock. There we go. I unlocked one. Okay. Wait, I, I managed them. I, I, I managed them. Okay, whatever. Construct buildings. I can still afford a garden. Unlock protective dreams to raise evasion. Raise defy and evasion. Oh, that's what the dream points are for. Use them to unlock. Okay. Go ahead and build a garden. We'll put it right next to there. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. So they're just gonna hang out and do a little dance and jump for joy and... Okay, um... Abilities, stats, faith, review. Um... Was it that unlocked a class? I wanted, I wanted to mess with that a little bit. But I don't... I don't see that somewhere. Okay. Well, whatever. I think that's just permanently there. Um, let's let's inspect this. Inspect your religion's relics. Okay. Uh, that's my save menu. The perversion. Eighty-two degenerates. Did I really misspell degenerates? Oh well. Um, tribute chests earned by ex they have materials and offerings in each one. Oh, there we go. All right, let's let's go ahead and do that. I have all the time in the world to do this one. Oh, that's a lot of tribute. Uh, here we go. Frontland of the ancestors. This one looks a little easier. Yes, that as Desin mission. Now, is there stuff I can do when I click on the... Oh, that's just showing me building. Um, what's that? Oh, choose a class! There it is! Um, your disciple has enough XP to select a class. When choosing it, take into account your whole roster. Every class has its own abilities, passives that make it unique. More about teamwork. They have to work together. Some classes learn passives that will go well with others once they gain enough XP. Okay. Um, calling I give matters most. Understood. When selecting class, also take their talent into account. Not all disciples have equal talents. Someone with a great talent for charisma might be a better zealot than a beast walker. Okay, yeah. So, um... Chieftain needs charisma and might. He doesn't have charisma. Druid, knowledge and devotion. He's not really great on either of those. Weaver, knowledge and charisma. 
better off to do that one. Uh, Lust Priest. Charisma and Cunning. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with Druid. I guess. And what does that do? To perform a miracle, level up the disciple, but he will be unavailable for one mission. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, got space for another disciple. Uh, strong-minded or strong-bodied? Let's do Montezuma. The gust. Okay, charisma good. Awesome. Something initiates. Yeah, um... Oh, okay. I want Montezuma. Because, yeah, with the charisma, devotion, and knowledge, Montezuma could be something special. Plus three permanent faith. Wow. Well, she doesn't need the faith. Replenishes one fervor. Um, what about you? Your faith is pretty good. I can get dream points. Hmm just bless the ritual what is that uh ritual progress for one disciple progress the current ritual times four for one disciple cost offerings cost raises per disciple per use oh yeah boink heck yeah that's that's pretty cool that really boosted it so then the person who needs a blessing is our new one. Bless ritual. I don't see that I have anything else I can do. I'm out of offerings. I'm out of materials. Hey, Topol gained a level. Repair mission. It's time to go after the pagan druids. Uh, Anna has to go. Oh my god, she's amazing. Daniel can go. I'm not sure which of these two I want. What's that status? XP. Okay. So if I take Topol, he will gain a level. And I want that. Besides going head to head like this, we are going to thump them. In fact, I want to do that. Put my strongest against their strongest. Okay. Here we go. First to 48. Righteous Flirt! Boom, that's 10. Attack! Enchant. So we're up to 15. Okay, that gave them 10. So we're doing good. Alluring body. Boom, boom, boom! I see the grace of the Usersaurus. Holy shit, that was 20. Boom, plus seven. Haha, -ha, defied you. Nice. Alluring Barty, and it's over. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay, so it's going good. It's also on easy. Pagan, Druid, Enticed, Crowd, Converted. Unlock class, Miracle Charged. Yeah, we're doing good. Should probably do a miracle just so I can see what it, it does. 82 more people. Uh, special rewards. I don't know what that special reward is. Trial rewards. Max martyrdom increased by one. Can increase martyrdom when doing a sacrament. Every level of martyrdom you take will give you more tribute chests, but in return, your disciples start out with lower HP and the opponent starts with extra converts. Oh! Okay. So I can set up a mission, however. You're about to pick your first tenet. Tenets are things your followers believe in. Tenets all have effects on your culture. Tenets also unlock traditions. If you've adopted enough tenets, you can pick one of the unlocked traditions. They're big game changers that grant new powers. They are a vital part of your strategy. Okay. You can adopt a new tenet. Uh, adoration. Each adopted tenet grants plus 10 faith. Social. That's plural. Plus four happiness from pleasure. 
uh, grants offerings and materials per mission. Ooh. Start with faith. Uh, night prayer, oiled prayer, <laughs> and worship cats. Well, it's really tempting to worship cats, but we're doing the oiled prayer. That's called lubing up for your orgy. God can only see you when your naked body shines brightly. <laughs> Hi, puppy! Hello! I want to click on the puppy! I've got seven days to complete that one. And that one's going to be a bit tougher. Um... Yeah, this one will be easier. Permanent upgrade HP up. You receive a relic. Ooh, set as destined mission. Couple professes the merits of oiled prayer to the degenerates. Yeah, I really did misspell that. Goddamn. Okay. Fingers were going too fast. Okay. So, confirm class. Now, uh... Yeah, Charisma and Cunning. He would make a good one. I don't necessarily want to, but he would make a really good Lust Priest, so... We're gonna have to do that. Um... Form a Miracle. Yeah. Um, when you do this, you'll select a stat for the Miracle. In the future, this stat will raise faster for this Disciple. The Disciple will be unavailable for one mission. Once the Miracle is performed, the Disciple will level up. It will learn a new ability, become generally stronger, and sometimes learn a passive too. Besides, Rituals Miracles are the second key to making your new Disciples grow. Oh, I need to perform Miracles for all of this. Okay, so we are going to do... Knowledge. Oh, I don't have that. Charisma. God, I need to do miracles for both of you guys. Um, why don't you get hunting? That's crazy. I was like, no, nah, we'll hold off on a miracle. No, do the miracle. So I can either progress this ritual or I can get a dream point. The faith is good, so let's get the dream point. That way I can upgrade and or get a new uh, unlock. Rank D! What is that? Uh, you're about to spend dream points on influencing a disciple in his or her dreams. Uh, dreams fill a disciple with determination. They give a strong boost for one mission. Dreams are a great way to overcome challenges that would otherwise be impossible. You can spread your dream points over multiple disciples. Okay. Uh... Large groups, 15 accuracy, morale accuracy, uh, morale armor, plus 25 defy, evasion. Cannot receive the broken faith status. Do not lose converts when broken. Oh. Let's do that one. Oh, I've got... There we go. Um, death. Dream. Okay, so that's not exactly how I wanted that to work, because I wanted to spend the dream points, but I can use them on... <gasps> oh! 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 Shit. Forgot about the miracle. Okay, Ana has to go there. Montezuma can go here. You can go here. I forgot you can't use them for a turn. You get three days for a turn. A turn is the whole time between one mission and the other. Totally forgot about that. Okay. I can increase martyrdom. But I don't think I want to do that. It's first to 60. How many do they get to start? 15. I don't want to be too risky right now. So Oink. 26 off of one hit. My god. Ouch. 14, 17, and 24. Wow, they that 
It's going pretty even here. There we go. That's the big one. The Lust Priest has a huge bonus. Oh. Yikes. This is actually pretty tough. It's, it's neck and neck. Oh no, Anna's dazed and she's like our best... Oh, hey, we did it. Whew, the Condemn really worked. That was lucky because Anna was dazed. Like, she could have very well have not done anything there. More converts to the perversion. Permanent HP upgrade and you receive a relic of your choice. Hey, we're no longer in last place. Oh, the fantasy is coming. The holy banana! <laughs> uh, Daniel's initiation flint. Direct opponent cannot evade. Montezuma's mellow flower. Direct opponent cannot crit or critical argument. Let's do that one. Made it through the basics, as you can see, there's much more, much to master in Godhood. Here's some final tips to keep in mind. Okay. Raise a strong group of disciples that represent your religion. Yes. Yeah, I know that. Uh, efficient rituals, fitting traditions. Don't expect to understand. Yeah, a lot of this is stuff that you've already told me. Being a god takes patience. Yes, it does. You have to put up with a lot of shit. You can assign this relic to a disciple in your holy city. He was meditating. The Ithrasaurus's will, a moment of revelation struck. In it, the Ithrasaurus taught them a truth to the world. They felt truly touched by the Ithrasaurus. Blessed be Topple. Okay. So I have to pick a mission before I can even get started on some of the other stuff. Now, it looks like this one I should be able to complete now. This one may be easier. I've got plenty of time left to go after that. So, unlock new totems and all new disciples are stronger. Increase the martyrdom and a disciple slot. Let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, so... This time you can do your miracle. We will let you do that. Everybody else is already doing something. Um, I can build a study. Unlocks experience God action. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's cool. What does a study do? Okay, so. 400 div or, uh, what is that even? Anyway, 400 of that gives you XP plus. Grants XP God action. Grants plus two XP extra. That's a weird way of saying it, but whatever. What's this? Ah, yes, I have to assign that. We're giving it to Anna just because she's the biggest badass. She's the Lust Priest. Um, okay. I've got one dream point. I need two dream points. Ah, so now I can give them experience in each one. Okay. Uh, inspired to found a tradition of idol. The Usersaurus will surely be pleased by this. Okay. What's the tradition of idol do? What's... You... I have a tradition! What is it? Choose a disciple to become an idol. The idol gains in participating plus X materials from Tribute Chest, where X is 50% Charisma, minus 5 Faith from Arrogance. Learn the idol glamour, a strong AoE, life and morale ability that can infatuate targets. There can only be one idol at a time. Gain God action, please, fans. Performed by the idol. The idol gains plus two. Tribute chest for the next mission. Minus five faith from their arrogance. 
Okay, that's cool though. I finally know what that means, what that does. Okay, so. Have Anna smack that guy around. Topol and Montezuma. Light up strength blessed. We have a good chance to convert them, yeah. Righteous flirt. Montezuma's nervous. So they got nine, we got 18. That's going okay. Boom, that alluring body is awesome. It is amazing. I wish you would do it more often. Man, they got nothing on us. Oh! <laughs> Crit! Stubborn ignorance, enticed, crowd converted to stubborn ignorance. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. 133! Awesome, we got a new disciple slot. Martyrdom. Wow, we're up to number eight. Mr. Source acknowledged Daniel's devotion and blessed him and his family. Okay, new abilities, wisdom, yeah. Okay. Boink. Did my miracle. Let's get this started because I... 13, 9, 15. Wow, that actually might be tough. So we're going that one next. Okay, class for Montezuma. Um, I don't think I have a druid. So let's do that one. It requires knowledge and devotion. Not their best stats, but you know what? Having a druid just gives me a different class. No, wait. I have a druid. I don't have a weaver. Takes knowledge and charisma. I also don't have a chieftain, which takes charisma and might. Not, not Montezuma stats. Okay, confirm. Of health. Uh, let's do the Great Shrine. Build it. I'm gonna build a few things because I have a bunch that I can use. Those haven't been able to be built before, so I want to. Oh, okay. I can only build one, apparently. Cutting and charisma is good. If I could upgrade devotion or knowledge, that would be awesome, but I can't. Okay, what else can I do? Oh, I could customize rituals by building a temple. Oh! Knowledge! Topol wants to sacrifice... Your disciples have ideas on how to worship you best. They want to add an action to the court ritual. Whom do you bless? Reject the elderly. Sacrifice the elderly. Confess about elderly. That sounds the least horrible. Like, that's... That sounded terrible. <laughs> Sacrifice the elderly! Alright, um... Plus three no health, plus two knowledge. Montezuma thinks oiled flesh looks pretty tasty. Literally. That's bad! Did we just get cannibalism as a tradition? 
All right, so that's a little bit of Godhood. I definitely want to play this out and see if I can take over the world with the perversion. I wish I could go through and change um, that that whole misspelling degenerates because my fingers were moving too fast. It's bugging me. Um, I realized the Usser source was literally going to be my god name. I would have just made it Usser. Um, but yeah, they, they had kind of a weird way on setting up. It's fun. It's goofy. I, I like city builders and this one, a lot of it's out of your hands. It's just more of getting your character stats up so they can go out and do things. But um, yeah, I, I like it. It's goofy. It's funny. Um, the perversion was a perfect name for it. <laughs> anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so I can See you whenever I upload new videos. <laughs> Links in the description for Facebook, Twitter, and the perversion. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye!